My name is Ryan Kedrick. I'm a member of the AI monitoring team at New Relic. In today's Data Bytes video, we're going to talk about how to integrate New Relic and NVIDIA NIM. Like many integrations at New Relic, you can start on the Add Data screen. If I type in NIM, I can see an installer for how to set up this integration. If I jump ahead a little bit, you'll see that this installation is very similar to any APM agent in New Relic. The only real difference is we will give you some configuration to opt into LLM monitoring to AI monitoring. So I have an application that I've applied these configurations to that I'm already monitoring. It's running on an EC2 instance and is also running, and we're also running a large language model through NVIDIA NIM. We can see the model is Llama 3 from Meta. This Python web application is very straightforward. We will take a message that the user passes in. We'll forward that message to the large language model. And whatever the model responds with, we're going to ask it, could you please reword that response into Pig Latin? We can see that this model is configured to talk to NIM. And uh, we're going to use a local, again, a local hosted model. So if I go over to my Python application, I can see it's already running. And I'm going to make a quick request to the model, or to my application. In this case, the message is, what is observability? We can see that that request starts. And while that's running, I'm going to jump over to New Relic. You can see that I've already been running a number of requests through this application. Up here, uh, you can see that this is an APM application called Local NIM. We're on the AI Responses tab. And at the top, we can see a lot of high-level metrics about how my application is performing and how it's interacting with large language models. I can see that I've made seven requests over the last three hours to this application. I can see that the requests, on average, will take 16.3 seconds to complete, and that the full end-to-end request-to-response cycle will require about 683 tokens to complete, which is relevant for cost tracking. If I scroll down on this page, I can see a list of all the requests and responses to my application. Right, so I can see the what is observability, what I started with, and I can see a Pig Latin response from the model, as well as some additional metrics about tokens, the model that I called, etc. If I click into this row, I can get even more detailed information about this particular transaction. I can see the user input, what is observability, and the full Pig Latin response. I can see how long did this particular transaction take. I can see how many tokens did the whole transaction use across the multiple calls I made out to the model. And if I dig in, if I go to this uh, waterfall chart at the bottom here, I can see specific information about how my application served this request. I can dig in even a little deeper to these individual calls to the model. I can see how long individually they took what model was called, how many tokens were used. And even further, I can see what were the actual messages that were passed in and the responses that came out of the model. I can do this for both of the calls in this case. Remember, there were two calls out to the LLM model. And I can get my final Pig Latin response and all of the context messages that went into generating that. One final note. We know that not all interactions with a large language model are going to go perfectly. So in this case, I can see that there is a, a transaction that had an error in this application. If I click into this row, I can see that I got no response back for this request. And I can see that there's a span highlighted in red here. If I click into that, I'll see that there's an error. And I can see specifically that some information about what kind of error. I can see that there's an API connection error. And I happen to know that this was caused because I made a request to my application before the NIM model was fully started. So I would expect to see an error here. So that's how you integrate NIM with New Relic. Uh, for more information, please check the video description. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Uh -huh.